You can run, but you can't hide, Garlic King. Woohoo! Dad! I just beat my own video vampire high score. I made it all the way past the Garlic King's stinky lair. That's great, Mona. So when's dinner? Can we have monster slime for dessert? I don't know. Mom was going to make dinner, but she's late. I'll get it. Hi, Mona. Could you give me a hand with this, please? Oh, be careful. It's fragile. What is it? It's a work of art. I made it tonight at that new pottery studio. What do you think? It's, uh, certainly very original. <laughs> Why is it so warped? Gary Goyle says the warps in it add to its authenticity. Gary Goyle? The potter. Now, let's go figure out what's for dinner. There's definitely something weird about this thing. So then this weird face thing came out of the vase and almost took a bite out of me. Creepy. Speaking of creepy, um, what's that? Whoa, that kind of looks like the thing that came out of the vase. Cool. This is getting a little strange. Sorry about the macaroni and cheese, but my pottery takes up so much time. Gary says potters are just slaves to the clay. Well, I really like this clay snowman. It's an abstract sculpture of a sunset, silly. Do you think we could move it somewhere else? Just so we could have some more room? I like it here. Gary says sculptures are meant to enhance everyday life. She works for us now. <laughs> Are you all right? Yep, just uh, practicing my vampire readiness skills. My mom's been acting so strange ever since she started all this pottery stuff. Let's see what this book has to say about clay monsters. I saw more of those creepy statues on my way home yesterday. I think one even waved its claw at me. They aren't statues, they're gargoyles. It says here that gargoyles stand guard and keep evil spirits away from towns. And they showed up at the same time my mom started getting all pottery obsessed. We'd better get over to that pottery place and check things out. That's funny. I don't remember there being any gargoyles when this was the old post office. Look out! <laughs> so much for them standing guard. Looks like they want to attack. Here we go. Someone's coming. I'm so glad you could make it, Mayor Rosenbaum. It's really an honor to show you around my shop. I want you to know that I plan to put this town on the map. On the map? Uh, how is that, Mr. Goyle? Ah, it's all about gargoyles, don't you see? The more gargoyles, the better. Tourists galore. The fantastic book of records will finally honor me, all thanks to these little guys. Come on, there's more. The first time I touched clay, I was hooked. It's like the clay tells me what it wants to become, and this is the result. Gargoyles. Well, they certainly do make a, <laughs> a statement. Now I must fulfill my destiny and create the peace de resistance, the Gargoyle King. From this very piece of clay. Very impressive. A gargoyle that size could do a lot of damage. You can't stop this! Once I am born, a new day shall arise for the Gargoyle Nation! Help! I'm it's stuck. too slippery! Help! I can't move! Help! I can't move! Help! <laughs> Hold on, guys! I got you! Mom! You have got to get out of here! Mona? What are you doing here? Why are you all mucky? Uh, we were just checking out the shop. Uh, gotta go now. See you later. Yeah, later, Mom. 
Hey, kids, are you interested in being part of my Gargoyle King sculpting team? Uh, no thanks, Mr. Goyle. We're yeah, really uh, busy. Uh, See ya. And, lots and um, of chores. Homework. Tons of chores. See ya. Come back if you change your minds. I don't like this at all. Mom is back at that shop with that clay thing. We'd better get to the bottom of this. Okay. www.gulliesandcompany.com usually has some decent info on otherworldly affairs. Hmm. UFO cover-ups? Nope. Orange juice as a government mind control experiment? Nope. Here we go. Gargoyle conspiracies. The secret legend of the gargoyles? Once King Gargoyle comes to be in rules, our days of servitude will end. No longer will we have to guard humans from evil. They will be our eternal slaves and suffer in stone silence as we have. King Gargoyle? But that's who Gary's making down at his shop. And according to this, once he's done, he and all his little gargoyle minions are going to come to life and turn us all into stone. No one will be safe. Ouch! All these gargoyles everywhere turning into a health hazard. He can say that again. Looks like we better join Gary's King Gargoyle sculpting team after all. But don't we want to stop him from making King Gargoyle? Yep, and that's exactly how we're going to do it. Time for Operation Crush Gargoyle. I'm sure glad you kids want to work for me. A Gargoyle King could use all the help in the world. Well, time's a ticking. Let's go. Mona, are you sure about this? Yeah, this looks like it might be really messy. Okay, here we go. Hello, Gargoyle King. I can almost feel the clay coming alive. <laughs> Slave, but I have no more use for you! <gasps> Time for us to trade places! Let's see how you like being spun around and around! Round and round and round he goes! Where he stops, nobody knows! Gary, <laughs> you okay? You think you can stop me, little vampire girl? that one. Thanks, Fang. Well done. Whoa! You kids saved me from total disaster. 
Something must have gone wrong with the wheel. All in a day's work, Gary. And that was one bad batch of clay. Phew. I'm glad that's over. Who would have thought clay could be so much trouble? It was a close call. But nothing's too close for Mona the Vampire, Princess Giant, and Zap Man. Whoa! They have no hope now without their king. Good riddance. So, Gary decided to give up clay and go into wrought iron. Oh, wrought iron, huh? I'll sure miss the class. You did great work, hon. I'm proud of you. Me too, Mom. Nope. From now on, it's no more pottery for me. I've decided to take up the tuba. And the raven, never flitting, still is sitting, still is sitting on the pallid bust of Pallas, just above my chamber door. Ah! That poem always creeps me out. What's so spooky about a stupid bird in a shadow? Oh, that's the third goldfish this week. What am I doing wrong? If your mom finds out, she'll never let you have a puppy. I know. That's why I've been flushing them down the toilet and replacing them. Oh, I can't watch. How about some more of your candy, Lily? It's really delicious. Quoth the goldfish, nevermore. Are you sure those goldfish were really dead before you flushed them down the toilet, Lily? Why do you ask? Remember what happened to Mona's frog, Polly? She left it in the bathtub, and her mother accidentally pulled the plug, sending it down the drain. Yeah. For years, Polly fed on the runoffs and got bigger and weirder until one day when it tried to get back into the house. But goldfish can't crawl up through a drain, uh, can they? Guys? <coughs> Hello, children. Are you interested in buying a fish? She is. Do you have anything that's flushable? Charlie! A goldfish will be fine, thank you. Weren't you here twice already this week? You must really love goldfish. Would you like to get our club card? Buy nine and the tenth one is free. No, thanks. I don't think my conscience could take that many. Hey, mer monkeys! My dad used to have these when he was a kid. How did that get here? This box expired uh... ten years ago. These eggs wouldn't be any good. I think I need a bigger fish tank, too. Program the water temperature, oxygen content, pH balance, saline level. The only way this goldfish can die now is if he jumps out of the tank. Get away from my mer monkey, Fang! Are you sure you follow the instructions? They don't look anything like the ones on the box. Maybe they need more time to grow. I'm spending the weekend at my grandmother's house. Mona, can you take care of my mer monkeys while I'm gone? Mona? What about me? Well, I... Uh... What? You think I can't take care of three specks in a bowl of water? Charlie, your mom says you have to leave right away. Okay, but be really careful, please. <laughs> I can't wait till the public pool reopens. Hey, look who's back from his weekend at Grandma's. How are my mer monkeys doing? Oh, uh, they're uh, fine. Yeah, why wouldn't they be fine? What have you heard? What's with you all the questions? You sound like you're trying to cover something up, Lily. No, I'm not. 
It's just that, oh, uh, my mom's cleaning the house. Yeah, so we can't go in there right now. Hey, why don't we go see that new traveling show instead? I heard it's awesome. Closer, children! Witness the seventh and eighth wonders of the world! They look like monkeys, but they swim like fishes! Please welcome Esther and William! Swimming monkeys? Cool! Creepy, if you ask me. We've been looking forward to meeting you again, Lily, haven't we? No! Get away from me! I didn't mean to do it! Didn't mean to do what? <coughs> Fine, sheesh. Keep your candy. I'm just a little nervous around monkeys, that's all. Monkeys? If I didn't know any better, I'd say they look just like Charlie's mer monkeys. But they're still in your bedroom, right? You flushed them down the toilet? I'm sorry, okay? I followed all the instructions, but I thought your mer monkeys died. Obviously not. They must have mutated, just like good old Polly. And now they're posing as a traveling entertainer and his two monkeys. I knew there was something funny about that, Jackmo. And now they've come back for revenge. Relax. They don't know where you live. We'll just lay low for a while. Remind me never to take a nap with you around. You'll think I'm dead and flush me down the toilet too. Charlie. <gasps> Who's there? I'm warning you. I know someone who, who knows karate. <gasps> I'm telling you, it was one of those mer monkeys. They're probably going to come back tonight to finish the job. Maybe they just want an apology. You think so? If someone flushed me down the toilet, I'd want more than an apology. What? I'm never sleeping in my room again. In fact, I'm never sleeping again, ever. I say we find those mer monkeys and drive them out of town for good. I don't think anyone's home. Do you think they left town? They wouldn't leave their trailer and tank behind. Mer monkeys need to be close to water. But this tank is completely dry. It's been empty for a while. Where else are they going to find a water tank big enough for three overgrown mer monkeys? Lily, you go swimming every week at the community pool house, right? Yeah, but it's closed for renovations. Exactly. So what better place to hide out if you're a mer monkey on the run? You were wrong. They can't be inside if the door's locked from the outside. Over here! Good work, Fang. Be quiet. We have to preserve the element of surprise. Oops, <laughs> sorry. I missed lunch. trailer, and they're not in the pool house, then it must mean they're... In the pool! Come on, we're going in. They've been busy. Look at this place. It looks just like the picture on my mer monkey box. I don't think anybody's home. <laughs> Hello, Lily. It's very nice of you to drop by for a visit. We were hoping to meet again. I'm really, really sorry. Can't we just shake hands and be friends? You can't possibly know what you're sorry about until you have been flushed. Swim, Princess Giant! Swim! <laughs> Welcome to the throne room, Lily. 
We met a few goldfish during our stay down in the sewers that'd like to have a word with you. Tell them we said hello. you've done to our home. You shouldn't have messed with our friend. We only wanted to teach Lily a lesson. We would have gotten her out eventually. I think maybe we all learned our lesson. Charlie, maybe we should just let them go. Go? Where? We can't go back to the fishbowl and they're building a mini golf course in the vacant lot. We're homeless. Hang on. I think I may have a solution that will suit everyone. I finally told my mom about the dead goldfish. It turns out she was replacing them too, because she overfed them. There were six, not three. Four! Hello, kids. Neat place, isn't it? Too bad Giacomo and his monkeys had to leave to make room, though. Easy for you to say. You've never had mermonkeys after you for revenge. Mermonk? Uh, Lily, really? I told you the only reason a monkey broke into your room was to get more of those delicious candies. In fact, I think I'll get me a bag right now. Well, I for one think this town benefits from a few more mer monkeys, And this time, no one's gonna flush them down the toilet by accident.